Okay. Stop whatever you're doing. Sit down and listen up. Okay? I'm just going to jump right into it because I feel like this is uh, very important. Okay, I don't see anyone coming in yet, but I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm not going to wait because I'm going to upload this on YouTube. All right. The topic today is how to choose friends wisely. And the inspiration for this post is that tragic story that is going around in the news. And I'm talking about that young lady. I think her name is Shankila Robinson. Um, I didn't even know she was only 25 years old. Very young girl. Um, went to Mexico with some friends and came back. Well, didn't came back. Okay. We are, you, we all know how the story ended. It's very sad, very tragic. All right. And I didn't, I didn't want to talk about this because, you know, there will always be these low vibration stories coming up. Okay. They will, they will, they will, these stories will always be here. And a lot of these stories are designed, whether they're true or not, are designed to extract energy. Okay. That's the external reality. That's how it works. All right. But um, the, 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 the reason why I wanted to address this is because of the, the knee-jerk um, trauma response that everyone is having. Like, oh, this is why I don't trust no one, and this is why I don't have friends, and blah, blah, blah. Um, not having friends and not being able to trust anyone is not a flex. That is a trauma response. It is a trauma response. And, uh, you know, talking about tra trauma is going to, we're going to be here all day. It's in our face, just observing, not reacting. Yeah. Unfortunately, I had to go watch the the um the news and it is it is very sad. It is not gonna lie, it's heartbreaking. It it really is. It's 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 so fucking messed up. Okay. So there are a lot of speculations and a lot of conspiracies going around this story. Okay, but uh, here are what the facts are. The fact is she went on went on a trip with some friends um didn't get um ended up getting into a fight uh they, they claim it was alcohol poisoning but that wasn't the case because the girl ended up with a broken back and a broken neck and i'm like how hateful can you be like what kind of hateful person is gonna beat someone to the point where you're gonna break their their neck and their back like you call yourself a friend no, this is my opinion. This is not the fact, obviously. But, you know, like, this is what I'm thinking. Like, how hateful are you? Like, the, you must have so much hate in your heart. And, of course, people are say, talking about, you know, jealousy or, you know, whatever. At the end of the day, um, we do not know if this girl ever um, felt any jealousy towards her. We do not know this. Okay? Maybe she did. But, you know, in most cases in situations like this, you were gonna um you're gonna come across someone that um did not listen to their intuition okay because these things don't just happen out of the blue okay they don't so i am going to assume you know i'm gonna this is my personal opinion i'm going to assume that if there was jealousy at all there were definitely red flags that she may have ignored i thought she never fought back it was a man she was fighting with are you sure or is that is this a fact or is this speculations okay okay if this was uh, if this was fact if that's a fact then that's, that's even more messed up and you know what i personally hope that uh, um a trans okay i think i saw that but i do not know that it's true again Ladies, let's stick with the facts here because I really don't know because it sounds like speculation at this point. Okay? Let's let's not get carried away. This is why I don't like these stories. This is why I tell you ladies, do not pay attention to these stories because a lot of these stories are fake. Like there, there's, there was one that happened recently with Nikita Dragon. Um, she, they put her in prison and they lied and said they put her in a men prison, which, was not the, which wasn't the case. She was in a separate cell all by herself she wasn't in a prison full of men this is why i can't deal with social media and people just reacting and just coming up with these crazy stories and speculations like you'll be doing the most okay okay so again 
the the knee-jerk reaction like this is why i don't have friends and this is why i i you know i don't trust nobody and blah 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 and everybody's jealous of me i don't want to i'm not interested in dealing with that because honestly if you do not know how to choose friends wise wisely that's that's on you unfortunately it is on you and if you do not trust anyone that's a trauma response because everybody needs to trust somebody even the the world's um biggest dictator have someone that they can trust and if a dictator can find someone to trust you should be able to find someone to trust okay it's that simple choosing friends should have the same energy we should put the same energy towards choosing friends as this um as we do towards choosing a romantic partner because there is so much emphasis on choosing a romantic partner that people forget how to be friends forget how to choose friends wisely because there's so much most of y'all can't even choose a romantic partner let alone a friend and there's so much tools and so much information and so much advice out there on how to choose a romantic partner there isn't a lot of advice out there on how to choose friends wisely so that's what i'm going to talk about today i'm going to post post this video on youtube because i want more people to see this because you know usually when i come here live in the group um you know i just come on here and i talk and i leave the life up okay so again if you're watching this on youtube and you would like to know more hit the link in the description below and come and join the group also sign up to my patreon for more content yes you have to vet friends too absolutely okay so in order for you to be a good friend and also to choose good friends you have to do the inner work you have to work on yourself okay you have to be good to yourself you have to be kind to yourself everything that you want a friend to be to towards you you have to be those things towards yourself okay i'm not gonna get get into that very um i'm not gonna spend too much time on that because we talk about inner work here a lot all right you have to be a good friend to yourself if you have sibling your first friend is your sister or your brother or your cousins these are your first friends when you go to school you 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 you, you learn to make friends and you learn to socialize etc a lot of people are wounded because a lot of the response that i'm seeing on the internet are from a bunch all these wounded people out here coming out here and talking uh talking shit like oh this is why you don't go on group trips people go on group trips all the time People go on group trips all the time and they don't they don't come back there. Okay? It is what it is. So if this story is um bring it and again a lot of fear. There's a lot of fear. Like I talk about fear so many times. Like I have a whole um event on my Patreon about the six basic human fears where we covered it. Okay? Drop the fear, let go of the fear the fear and live your life. Okay? This story is not going to make me not want to have friends and not trust anybody. Okay? Let's be positive about this at the end of the day. Most people and don't end up getting on a live by their by their friends. There are yes, there are unfortunate incidences, but when something this unfortunate happened, the amount of energy that people put into it is just it just doesn't make any sense, okay? Like, you know, Pay more attention to people that have healthy friendships, okay? Like, anyways, I don't want to be here too long. I don't want this video to be long, all right? So I'm going to talk, in this video, I'm going to talk about type of friends to avoid. And I'm also going to talk about um, um, what to look for, characteristics to look for in a friend, all right? So um, I'm going to read your comments afterwards, ladies. Okay, so, you know, please bear with me. You all like my blowout? <laughs> okay <laughs> don't mean to get uh distracted again ladies the effort the energy that they put in towards finding a a romantic partner but vet vetting a romantic partner we should also keep that energy when it comes to finding friends you have to vet your friends too and you can't be out here expecting the the, the best from your friends and you the toxic one okay you have to be a good friend too all right However, you have to be a good friend to yourself because a lot of, a lot of us, we, and I, and I've been there when I was younger, I used to put people on a pedestal. I was out there chasing friends and my friends didn't give a shit about me. I've been there. I've had some bad friends before. And I, when I look back, it was all my fault. 
it was all my fault because I didn't have, I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't know how to set boundaries. I didn't know how to choose friends um, wisely. I put people on a pedestal and I was chasing these friends that didn't give a shit about me. I have been there. This is why I can come here today and talk about this. As a woman in her, in her forties, I've been, listen, I've been there, done it all. All right. So. These are the type of friends that you have to avoid, ladies. And um, this is so simple. I know it's very simple, but I, I need to, it needs to, it needs to be said because some people are not uh, aware of this. Okay, where did I got the dress? I got this dress at the mall. I got this dress at the mall. You know, just like a little. I wouldn't even call this a sundress. You know, something that I wear around the house. Anyways, um. So these are the type of friends that you should avoid as a woman, all right? I, when it comes to men, men are not friends. That is an unpopular opinion, and yes, this is controversial, but I don't see men as friends, okay? That's all I'm saying. You all can debate with your mama. I'm not, I'm not going to, listen, I said what I said, okay? <laughs> all right. Friends that are, are in an abusive relationship. If you have a friend that is in an abusive relationship, avoid that friend. That friend doesn't give a shit about themselves. That friend doesn't care about themselves. That all that friend is doing is extracting your energy. Okay, that is not a good friend. And also, one of the reasons why you're going to avoid someone that is that is in an abusive relationship is because because you're a good friend, you care about this person, and you're trying to save this person, you could end up in danger. Okay, you can end up in danger. Erin, I'm not going to answer that question because I'm putting this on YouTube. If I was leaving this uh, in, in the group, I would answer it and let you know what I think. But again, Erin, it depends on how well you vet this person. Okay, I'm not saying that is not to do it. But a lot of these, those type of people love drama okay and secretly despise women but anyways we'll vet them okay so yes for women that are that are in abusive relationship you need to avoid them because they're gonna drag you down with you and you can end up in danger you can literally lose your life or get injured if you get caught up with these women because sometimes they be with some dangerous men you have to be careful if you have a friend right now or you met someone and they're in an abusive relationship leave that person alone Okay, let that person deal with their situation and let their family help them. That is not your business, okay? Women that say, and this, this is another type of friend to avoid. Women that say that they're not friends with women, they're only friends with men, they don't trust women, yada, 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 yada. When you hear those words, that's a red flag. That's a trauma response. And usually, 9 out of 10, that person is the problem. I don't care what nobody say. As a woman, if you do not know how to cultivate friendship with other women, you have a lot of work to do. Being friends with other women is, um, we, we evolved to be friends with other women because it depend, our survival depended on it. We can go all the way back to caveman days when your man left the cave to go and hunt and never returned because he got killed. Who did you have to look to? The other women, the other women that were collecting berries and, and little fruits or whatever. And if you were not nice, they're not going to share their berries and fruits with you. And you and your kids are going to fucking starve. Okay? A lot, of, a lot of women are overlook the type of help and support that they get from other women that is saving their lives. And this is the type of support that you will not get from a man. Okay? The friendship and the support that you get from women is completely different from men. So if you do not know and, or haven't figured out how to be friends with women, you need to go get therapy and go and go fix that. Fix that, do the inner work, do what you got to do. Okay, if every woman is jealous of you, come on girl, everybody can be jealous of you. Okay. I know that there are people that are jealous of me and I know who they are. I'm not sitting up here being delusional thinking everybody's jealous of me. Like how narcissistic can I be if that's, that's my mindset? That don't make no sense. But anyways, that's another type of woman that you have to avoid. If she doesn't, she, she doesn't know how to keep female friends. There's always drama and all her friends are men. Stay very far away from that one. 
and of course friends that are jealous of you some of you are friends with people that you know and you know that these people are jealous of you if you have a feeling again not everybody is jealous of you but if you have a feeling that someone is jealous of you avoid this person because i can I can assume with my, you know, with my womanly instinct and experience that that girl saw some red flags and, um, you know, overlooked them. Okay. Friends that will abandon you for a man. If you are friends with someone and you go out, okay, and she meets a guy, again, nothing wrong with, you know, meeting a guy while you, while you go out or whatever. And she leaves you and go with a guy or disappears and you don't know you don't know where the fuck she is or you know you were friends all the time and then she gets in a relationship and you don't hear from her again that's not the type of friend that you want to have okay because there are some women that are very very male centered and they will never make good friends because they will never be loyal their loyalty um, is, uh, is only for men okay Friends that treat you different when men are around, especially men that they find um, attractive, okay? If you have a friend that start being shitty towards you when men are wrong, because I, I, I listen, I experienced it all. I remember I, I had a friend, <laughs> friend, um, the, I was in my 20s, and we were going out, and I was staying at her for about a week or something like that, and I, had, I didn't have anything to wear to this thing that we were going so she loaned me some, um, she loaned me an, um, a cute little outfit. And you know, don't, don't even look better in her clothes than you. <laughs> if you look better in, in her shit, listen, that's, that's a problem. That is a problem. But anyways, we went out, you know, we looking cute or whatever. We meet the guy and she would, the guys would come and talk to me and she would always cut in. And then she would tell the guys like, oh, you like her top? Oh, it's mine. You like her, you like her outfit? It's mine. I, 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 I loan her. That is, that is some embarrassing shit. There, there are some women that do not know how to act when men are around. And them is not the kind of woman you want to have around you at all. Okay? And of course, friends that are male-centered. These women are very dangerous. I call them handmaidens or dick worshippers or whatever. They are not to be trusted. Okay? A male-centered woman is not to be entrusted, not to be trusted, ever, at no point in time. Okay? Friends that only want to go out and drink and do drugs, you know, like, do low vibration shit. Okay? This is not the friend that want to go and have brunch with you or come over and you'll have like a girl's night and maybe you cook or you get some food and you do something cute or whatever. All they want to do is go to the club, drink, okay? They don't introduce you to anybody in their network or their friends. You don't get to meet their family. You don't meet nobody, but they just want to go out with you and hang out with you and do drugs and smoke weed or, or whatever, whatever the fuck people be doing nowadays, okay? Yes, Anna, thank you, the party friend. Stay away. That person is not, is not to be trusted, okay? The friend that has no self-control, the one that gets drunk, falling over and now you have to you know you not only do you have to worry about your safety but you have to worry about her safety yes the reckless friend if the person is reckless that is not a good friend to have all right the friends that disappear when you're going through hard times if you're going through something maybe you you someone died or maybe you lost your job and you can't go out and hang out with them anymore they just disappear you don't hear from them you don't get any texts they don't come by and visit those are the type of friends that i call them the fear weather friends the friends that are only there for the good times if you have a friend that is not that disappears when things are going bad you don't need that person in your life exactly you have to worry about your reputation as well absolutely and Again, you, you ladies can add more in the comments if you want, but this is the last one that I can think of, and I do, this is, is in my notes. The friend that flip out on you over the slightest thing, the friend that get angry, lash out at you for, for no reason, like literally the slightest thing, you walking on eggshell um, to deal with this friend, stay away from that, that type of person. If you have people like this in your life, you really have to start re-evaluating these friendships because ladies, we have to learn how to be 
how to be good friends and how to choose good friends okay a lot of us are in our 30s late 20s we need to do better okay you have to be a better friend and you have to choose better friends okay okay so these are some qualities that you should look for in a good friend and again you can i have about 10 i think i have 10 on the list but um of course you can add in the comments okay Oh, Kata, that's a good one. Kata said, and the friend that copies you even in the way you talk and walk. Yes. That, what, that is scary. Like, listen, if you do not know how serious this is, just go and watch Single White Female. Okay? Go watch that movie. Good one, um, Kata. All right. These are some qualities that you have to look for in a friend. And this one is number one for a reason. Reciprocity. A lot of you, you all are in one-sided friendships. Okay? And I know it's hard. I know, I know, I listen, I know it's hard. Reciprocity is very important. You want, a, the things that you do for your friends, you should expect your friends to do for you as well. Because they're supposed to be your friend. Okay? If you're going out with your friend and you're, you're, you're always the one that is paying for everything and they never pay, that's a problem okay if you all you 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 are the one that is always calling and always texting and you're the one that always arrange get togethers and they never do it and then sometimes you see them getting getting together with other friends and they post it on facebook and you never get an invitation i'm sorry but drop that person just drop them okay if this person happened to be in your network you know like for those of you ladies that are on a networking journey Again, you don't need to be close to everybody in your network, okay? One-sided friendships, friendships are energy leaks. Girl, listen, Tisha, <laughs> if that ain't the truth, okay? What you should also expect from a good friend is respect. A friend that respects you, respect your boundaries, okay? Your friend, if, if a friend knows that you, you don't like seafood, they, they, they respect that, Okay, so when they're going out or they're having something, they'll be like, hey, um, Maria, I'm having this thing. And listen, um, I know you don't like seafood, so, you know, um, and I know you like this, so I did this. That's a good friend because this friend is considerate. The respect that you have um, certain limitations, okay, they understand. You don't want a friend be like, what? What do you mean you don't like, you don't like seafood? Well, you haven't tasted my seafood. People that behave like that are usually narcissists. Okay, if someone doesn't like seafood, they don't like seafood. Respect it and move on. Okay, the name of the YouTube channel is Sass. I'll post a link of the, ch the channel here um, when I upload this video. The, and also you have to look for someone that is genuinely interested in you. If all, you, all, all this person do is talk about themselves and their achievement and everything, and you don't ever get a, um, a chance to talk about what you got going on because they just don't care, that's not a real friend, okay? Someone that is also trustworthy. This is number four, trustworthy. You can trust this, this person by, you know, keeping something to themselves. Maybe you guys went out and, you know, something went down and that person kept it to themselves. They didn't go out there and tell everybody, okay? It's not coming back to you. This person is not all this, um, um, you know, slandering you behind your back and spreading rumors about you. Someone that you can trust, okay? You can trust this person around your man. You can, you can leave this person in your house and, and go and come back. Ladies, you got to find people to trust. Okay, the, the girl that comes here to clean, when she comes here, I trust her, okay? I trust that she's not going to um, pick up all my shit and leave. I would leave her here cleaning. I'll go to the mall, run errands, and come back. Because if a dictator could find someone to trust, you should be able to find people to trust. Come on, ladies. If, if, you, if, you don't, if you don't have anyone in your life that you cannot trust, you have to do some inner work. Maybe go get some therapy. That is a sign of trauma. All right? Um, five, this friend is supportive. They support your dreams. They support your goals. They support whatever you got going on. They are supportive. All right? They're not constantly criticizing you and and throwing shade and giving you backhanded compliment like 
people have friends people have friends like this people have friends that neg them give them backhanded compliments i, I don't know how y'all do it but you know more power to you um six this person has to accept you for who you are okay they must accept you for who you are this is the type of friend that is not going to be like um embarrassed to be seen with you because let me tell you something some people have friends with different things and i have friends with different things yes i do okay but a good friend is someone that i can i can include in, in almost everything that i'm doing okay that's a good friend they are good friends and then they are friends friends like you know those are the friends Most of the time when someone says I inspire them, it's an excuse to copy everything I do. <laughs> okay? It's okay to have friends with different things, but you have to accept that friend for who they are. If you know that friend is ghetto, okay, don't be trying to get her to take her to some gala to embarrass you and embarrass herself. Don't be trying to change her. If she wants change, she will come to you and ask for advice. Okay? One of the things that I learn is not to give unsolicited advice that was very hard but i'm doing pretty good this is uh, okay and you want you want someone that actually listens to you someone that actually listens because i hate when i have when i have a friend and you know every time we get together and we talk all we do is talk about them and they don't give a shit about what i got going on okay the last um fake friend i had was someone from this com community and some of you all know who that person is there were times we would get on the phone and talk for like two hours and 90 percent of the time we were talking about her okay but i'm a patient person and i'm a, I'm a good listener but you know i just noticed that um someone with empathy there are a lot of people that don't have empathy at all they don't care about you Okay, because honestly, that situation that happened in Mexico, them people, them people ain't got no empathy because I don't understand for the life of me how there were six of y'all there, two people are fighting and nobody, this, nobody parted the fight. I saw, I didn't see the video. I saw a screenshot of the video and it was blurred or something. Uh, and listen, I didn't want to watch the video because it was just, the story itself by itself is, is, is crazy enough. Okay? So... I had a friend like that before. Friends that ask you for money after three days since you know them, that's not a friend, okay? If you meet a guy, uh, um, guy after three days, is that your husband? Is that your boyfriend? Are you all in a relationship? If you only met someone three times or you met them in three days, that is not a friend. That person have Listen, people have to... You have to work towards friendship, y'all, okay? Someone you just meet is not a friend. If you're thinking, and I'm sorry, Kata, um, if you're thinking that someone you met three days ago is a friend, then you have to redefine what friendship is. Okay, Tisha said, I saw the video, no one broke it up. And Tisha, I listen, Tisha, I know you, you've you been in situations where you um, went on trips with so-called friends and stuff like that, and it turned out really, really ghetto. And, you know, I applaud you, Tisha, for still... Um, you know opening your heart and still being able to be friends with people in this community because that is very mature and that is very that is what I would call someone that is you know healed anyways when you th okay so when you spend time with this friend okay this person has empathy when you spend time with this friend you walk you leave feeling good Oh my god you had a good time i had it was so it was so much fun you you walk away feeling like your vibes is high like your vibration is high like you don't walk away feeling low and and drained if when you hang out with someone and every time you leave that person you feel drained that's a red flag that not, they're not a friend boo boo that's that's a demon okay that's an energy vampire that, not, that, that ain't no friend okay that person is feeding off of you Oh yes, the absolute ghetto. Girl, I remember that. Um, and last but not least, a friend that is honest and that will call you out on your BS. Okay? 
if you this if this if you see that when you know when you, this is how you know a friendship is real if the friend can call you out on your bullshit and everything is gonna be okay you all are still friends you are still hanging out you are still you know going meeting up for lunch still going on little girls trips or whatever that's a real friend okay and that is what that's what I have in my notes here um, I'm gonna try to read some comments um, and that's what that's all I have you ladies can add some in the in the comments if you want if I see a good one I will read it so the people on YouTube can hear but honestly ladies that's an unfortunate story but that does not mean that you shouldn't have friends and shouldn't trust anyone okay that is that knee-jerk trauma response is it's like it's so predictable every time something like that happens people like oh that's why I don't have friends and you know we, it happens in the community too okay in this community people get together it, do, it don't work out and guess what we have people talking about oh this is why I will not I'm not meeting nobody in this community and I'm not meeting this one and that one and blah 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 uh, I don't trust no no bitches in this community blah 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 I've been through a lot with some people in this community and I'm still here okay how do you find like-minded friends um you probably probably knew because if you were in my other group or if you were on my patreon you would know find hobbies that you like okay let's say you like tennis go take some tennis classes and go join a tennis club and there you're gonna meet people that like the same thing as you when it comes to finding like-minded women like in this community women that are level uh, leveling up or hypergamous or whatever i can't think of a community outside of the internet that i can be like oh yeah you can go join this community okay this is a community ladies this group is a community this is a network do not take it for granted there are real people in here okay come in the group um participate in the group comment in the group, make posts, make connections, etc. And you can, and, and thank you, creative Lena, you can manifest a good friend. But in order for you to manifest good friends, ladies, if you have been one of those people that had very bad luck with friends, especially with women, you have to heal, you have to do the inner work and learn to trust women again, because that is a trauma response. As a woman, you are supposed, and let me tell you something, men are not stupid men, pay attention to this, okay? A high value woman knows how to cultivate friendship with other women. And she knows how to keep the, the peace with women that she don't even like. She will go to dinners and meet women that she don't like, and nobody would know, because she has emotional intelligence, okay? A lot of people lack more emotional intelligence, and they do not know how to be friends, a lot of people are, are operating from a place of fear. They are afraid of being um, taken advantage of or fear, are afraid of someone that's going to be jealous of them or take something from them. You know, that kind of fear-based type mindset. That's where a lot of people are right now. Okay? But if there's things that you like, you go to places where people also like the same things. That's how you make friends. Okay, thank you, Deva. Deva said I'm beautiful and gorgeous. Thanks, girl. Um, let me. Okay, let me let me scroll up and read some of these comments that I miss. I am so sorry. I miss a lot of comments. Okay, so it's a lot. A fr friends who don't show up to events like birthday dinners when it's time to celebrate you. Thank you. I'm so glad you mentioned that. I'm so glad you mentioned that because I recently, um, a few months ago, I recently back blacklisted friends that did that to me. I, I threw an event. I spent my money. They didn't have to give me a cent. They didn't have to give me no money. All they had was to do was fucking show up and drink and there was food and entertainment and everything there. They didn't even show up. And listen, they, they, they didn't even show up. I spoke to them on the day of the event. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you there, blah, blah, blah. And it still didn't show up. And, you know, someone from my Rochi club that I invited, she said, blacklist them. When people do that, you blacklist them. Do not be afraid to blacklist people or, or block people or cut off people. 
okay because again i'm seeing this is um, what i'm seeing on on the internet people are like oh this is why you should cut off people blah 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 yes that is true but at the end of the day a lot of people do not know how to be friends people do not know what a good friend is clearly this girl did not know because if she had known she would have been alive today all right the uh, the, uh, the energy that we put towards um romantic relationships we need to put that that same kind of energy towards friendship in vetting friends you have to vet friends i mean someone that you meet in three days is not a friend boo boo okay uh, let me see but arab women are dangerous behavior it's not easy to be friends with them they can put you in a grave when okay kata i believe you and the reason why I believe you is because of the, the culture of Arab, of the Arab culture. Arab culture is very um, suppressive of women and very male-centered. Women that are male-centered are not to be trusted. They are not to be trusted. If you come from a culture of male-centered women, it is going to be difficult for you. And, you know, if you have a sister or a cousin or somebody that you can trust, then that's your friend. Okay? But if you um, you have a network of other women, let me tell you something. Just don't tell these people your business. And don't see these people as your friends. Start seeing people as acquaintances. Okay? Arab culture is very male-centered. There are some ladies who just can't love others. They look at everything with an evil eye. I don't want to be friends with people like that. Well, don't. Don't be friends with people like that and focus on the people that you want to be friends with. This is another thing that we do. We focus on things that we don't want. If you don't want toxic friends, then do not give your time and energy to toxic friends. Focus on the, on the people that you like. Pay, because sometimes, listen, sometimes you are so focused on other things that you're not seeing the good that you have in front of you. Okay? I was, I was so busy chasing friends or whatever, and I had good friends in front of me that I didn't pay attention to because for, to, for me, you know, I felt like there wasn't leveled up enough or there was something that wasn't um, outgoing enough or some bullshit like that. And, you know, when I realized that I was doing it wrong, I was like, you know what? Let me just sit back and focus on the people that really like me, people that really like me and want to spend time with me. Those are the type of people that I started paying attention to. And friendships are, are a lot better right now. In this community, it's not easy to um, to trust people in this community because there are a lot of male-centered women in this community. There are a lot of jealous women in this community. A lot of these women are narcissists. You have to be careful, all right? But again, you have to vet friends the same way you vet men, okay? If those persons hate women and think men are their friends she will leave you high and exactly exactly hannah i agree i was left alone in the club until i was about to get Ooh, i pe and she disappeared with a random man true story be careful girl i'm so sorry that happened to you and i hope you learn from that experience that is crazy <laughs> I had a bad case of people pleasing. Let's, um, Shana, let's talk about people pleasing. If you are a people pleaser, none of your friends are real. I'm sorry. And, and you, you spend so much time people pleasing, you don't even know which one of your friends is really there for you. Okay? I had a friend that was a people pleaser and that turned me off and i just i stopped hanging out for her with her okay because you know you're driving people that actually are, are looking out for you and actually care about you they're going to look at you and they're going to be like this girl don't respect herself yeah i'm i'm, I'm, I'm not going to hang out with this girl okay let me there's a lot of comments y'all <laughs> okay oh I'm working on my irritability. Okay. And the friend that copies, okay, I read that comment. Avoid the friends that only call you when you, they need you to listen to their drama. Absolutely. I had one more of an associate, but no, she's nothing. Okay. Watch out for friends that claim they inspire you. 
the ones who can never compliment you oh my god oh my god <laughs> listen i compliment all my friends all my friends and i have some friends most of my friends do compliment me but i have some friends and when i say friends they're not really friends but people in my life that are associates maybe they're in the same club as me whatever that don't compliment me even when i compliment them but you know that's okay i'm not desperate for compliments because i don't seek validation outside of myself the name of my channel is sas s-a-s-s -S. friends that compliment you by calling you perfect listen samira you are you are definitely onto something you see the ones that, the, listen i cannot stand p friends i call them super fans that are always gushing over you like oh my god you're so perfect you're so flawless blah 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 listen when, once i get that energy I, I don't like it it's a huge turn off because first of all i am not flawless and i'm not perfect okay if you see me with all this hair makeup and stuff like that and I'm, I'm at home in bed and a bonnet on are you gonna say i'm perfect and flawless if I do something or say something that you don't like, um, are you going to say that I'm perfect and flawless? Because people that do that, that put you on this pedestal, they are the ones that are quick to take you off that pedestal, kick you off that pedestal. I don't trust them bitches either. So that's a good point, Samira. Uh, this video came at a great time. Oh, hey, Erin. Girl, I didn't see you there in the comments. Uh, Tess said I was once betrayed by a friend I said never again so right now all I have are you supportive ladies as my friends and my siblings as my near by friends you know betrayal is part of life you're like people are going to people are going to betray you it is what it is but honestly again if someone betrays you just make sure that you keep that person out of your life Trixie do you want to get on this uh, on this live and start talking to the people? Or do you want to start? Do you want to say hi? Okay. Uh, most of the time, when someone says I inspire them, it's okay. I, I read this comment. I have friends for different. Okay. Uh, okay. One of the men said, "Wow, you're not going to fight back." Like it was so sad, <laughs> girl. And listen, again, I, I'm trying not to be judgmental and I'm trying not to say what I really wanna say because this video is gonna go on, on YouTube number one and this is not the, the secret group. But uh, I see them, 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 them fellas up in there with all them tattoos and some of them got neck tattoos and stuff like that. I'm like, that's the type of people she hanging out with? Like, girl, ain't no fucking way. We were friends for six months and after that i decided she only wanted money so i was not girl <laughs> i'm sorry uh Katar. anybody like people that are asking you for money especially adults they they got something going on there's something going wrong in their life and i used to attract a lot of people that never had no money and then when we go out i'm the one that's paying and stuff like that like i'm, I'm tired of that i'm i'm so tired of that I know exactly what you how you feel, girl. The Bible says a wise person loves those who correct him. Exactly. Uh, pray and fast and ask for the spirit of discernment. Listen, discernment is a gift from God. Not everybody has discernment. Not everybody has intuition. Listen, not everybody are blessed with common sense. Okay, those are gift, gifts from God. If you don't have that, you know, decalcify your pineal gland. Okay, stop using um, fluoride. Start meditating or, or whatever. And if that don't work, well, maybe you're, you're an NPC. Mm -hmm. I'm so fast at telling someone off. I feel my instincts are wanted me about you and that has saved me a lot okay 
And let me tell you something, that, that thing that I mentioned about people flipping out on you, I had, back when I was younger, I had, I had a friend that would flip out uh, in, a, in a fit of rage over the slightest thing that I would do. And I was like, I think I was about 23 or 24 at the time, and she was um, about a couple years younger, so we were both in our 20s. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I think the last straw was we went to a party, she started drinking, so you know we going up to we go we going up to the the booth, the lounge area to sit down. So I took her hand, you know, to you know for her to come up the stairs. And you know, I didn't even know she was drunk. All I saw was the girl just bent over and just emptied her her guts. Like everything came out. She just shoop shoop up. And I was like, ew! You know, some of it came on my on my feet or whatever. And I'm like, are you okay? She's like, she just flipped out. What is wrong with you? Blah blah blah. blah. I was like, what the what the fuck is this? I is this girl insane? That was the last straw. I had a friend that I had to end things with about four years ago. She would always go out and never include me. We, ooh, let me read this comment. <laughs> never include me in her circle. And when I asked her about it, she would say that she's protecting me because her other friends have strong personalities. I would, inv I would, <laughs> I would invite her to places and she, nine out of 10, would turn me down. We would take pics and she would never post them. Song silly. No, that is not silly. Song silly. But we were friends for over 10 years. I used to go out of my way to help her. But I confronted her about the whole situation and she told me I was too emotional. And she expected me to do things for her because she was friends for so long. Thank goodness I've changed my mindset and work on myself because that shit hurt. Wow, Anna. That's, listen, that's a lot. 10 years of that bullshit. And let me tell you something, it's not silly because I had a friend that we would go out and we would take pictures. And I, I would post her in my stories and stuff like that. And she would never post me. Never post me. Okay, the things that I invited her to and some of the, the, the things I paid for never post me. And I was like, am I, am I tripping? Because like, you're not tripping. You're not tripping because... Uh, this is what friends do. You go out, you take pictures, and you take cute videos, and you post it on each other's stories. Um, a good friend will make sure that, you know, everybody looks good in the picture. Okay, if you're my friend, I, I Photoshop everybody. I make sure that everybody looks cute. That's what a friend is supposed to do. So, like, when they're not doing that, girl, you're not, you're not silly. You're not being silly. The mistake I make was helping friends to level up. Do not. And Kata, um, Kata do, do you still live in Dubai? You're from Dubai, right? Do not try to help no Arab woman to level up. A male-centered woman will betray you. They will throw you under the bus. They are not to be trusted. Like, you all, you all have no idea how serious I am. If I show up for you, I expect you to do the same for me. I, think, I thank God for that because I will not be inviting them to my wedding. Blacklisted in, indeed. Good. Good, you getting married? Congratulations. Dave, I said I can't even be friends with women who are not about to level up. Yeah, I know. It's hard. It's, it's frustrating. I used to think this way, then realize not everyone wants to level up. Yeah, that is true. Not everybody, and not everybody can be saved. A lot of these bitches do not want to be saved, okay? The flowery, too nice fake, the fake ones. <laughs> Yeah, I know some of those. Yes, you did. You answered my gay man question. I did? Okay. Just, uh, listen, there were some things I wanted to say, Erin. <laughs> there were some things I wanted to say, okay? But... I'm not gonna say it. Hi, Trixie. Trixie is perfect. Yeah, Trixie is a, is a is my baby. Part of the forty laws of power is get rid of people who undermine you. Absolutely, that's a good book. Like we that book we did that book in the in the book club, and we did it. We did that over six weeks. It was really good.
you spoke my mind, Maria. Those tattooed guys made me think like she was too pretty to hang around such looking guys. It's very unfortunate that what happened. Yeah, like you all know how I feel about tattoos. Okay, and I live again. If you have a tattoo, shut the fuck up. I'm not talking about you. Okay, you got your tattoo when you was 18 or whatever. You don't know better. Okay, if you're into tattoos, that's what that's again. That's you. You be confident in your choice and don't get triggered over some because somebody don't, don't like what you do. Okay, like you all are, you all are too sensitive. Anyways, them people that get tattoos, especially people that get like too many tattoos and the tattoos are coming up on their neck and stuff like that and the sleeves, that is a sign of trauma. Okay, number one. I see that as a sign of trauma and it evokes the flight or fight instinct in me. Women that go after men that have all those tattoos are women that are not in touch with their intuition. Because if you're a woman that is in touch with your intuition, okay, you're not going to be hanging around people like that. These are low vibration people, okay? When you see a guy, guy with those type, of, those type of tattoos, he either went to prison or he'd been in, uh, on drugs or maybe he committed crime or he went through a lot of fucking trauma. Is that the, is that the type of people you want to associate yourself with? Again, I'll probably get dragged for this. I don't care. I said what I said. Argue with your mama. I'm the friend that slapped the fuck out of you if you shot at me in public. I'm doing the inner work, though. <laughs> no, like, if, Lelani, if, you, if a friend shouts at you in public, cut off that friendship immediately. Okay? You're supposed to be an elegant, high-value woman. What are you doing with friends shouting in public? What are you doing with friends shouting in public? Mm -hmm. She was jealous. Okay. I'm walking away. <laughs> yeah, like, do not, do not shout at, do not raise your voice at me in public. Are you crazy? I would be mad if my friend don't, didn't Photoshop me. Yeah, like my friends don't because they don't know, probably don't know how to Photoshop or something like that. So I'm like, listen, I'm in charge of taking the photos, okay? All of us are going to look cute. I'd rather take myself on a solo date than take a broke friend out. <laughs> Girl, this is something that I have, I had to learn, okay? Because I don't mind, um, you know, treating my friends because that, that that is me i'm a generous person i don't mind treating my friends but when you you always have you always have to pay for them always every single time mm -mm. i have a friend who posts the ugliest photos of me and she gets so mad when i tell her to take it down am i missing something you're not missing something because this person doesn't care about you she only cares about how she looks in the photo so either you stop taking pictures with her or just don't be friends with her anymore. Because I go through the pictures and I'm like, okay, I look cute in this photo, but my friend doesn't look so cute. Like that's not, that's not her angle or something like that. Oh I mean, yeah, I'm not going to post that one. I'll send all the pictures, but the ones that I post, everybody's going to look cute. Like why can't, I mean, isn't that like social media etiquette or something? Like, no. I would ask before I post a pic with you if you liked it. Yeah. But my friends, they, they trust me. They know they're going to look cute. They don't even be like, oh, let me see before you post. They know whatever I post, they're going to look cute. Henna tattoo where I draw the line. <laughs> you all make Maria do the long disclaimer. Y yeah, people be, people be sensitive AF. Like, listen, you made your choice and that's your choice. Okay? Just because other people don't like it, that's that's... What do you care about what other people like? Okay, I'm just letting you all know that just be very wary with men with, the, with them tattoos. Okay, like I don't like tattoos at all. At all. Every single guy that I have dated that I've been in a relationship with, not a single one of them had a tattoo. Not one. Mm. 
I love the way you keep it real. Thank you. Shouting and acting ghetto of the slightest thing. And I noticed that's something that a lot of American people do. They get together and they're shouting and get and carrying on and fighting. And instead of patting the fight or calling the police, they're taking out the phone and filming it and screaming world star. And guess what? Now, now somebody dead. I hope they go to jail. She raised her voice one last time. At, okay, yeah. I quietly walked away and never looked back. Good for you, Tisha. Shouting in general. I know, right? That is so ghetto. Someone in my club talked down at me for driving away from an event. Says I was supposedly to notify her. I gave her the silent treatment. Some people pretend to care, yet want to control a grown woman like me. Girl, she... Mm -mm. That's crazy. But anyways, that's what I wanted to say today. I read... If I haven't read your comment, I'm sorry. But, ladies, again, this is a very unfortunate situation. This doesn't have to be you. But you do not have to be a hermit either. Don't be out here being like, oh, I don't trust no bitch and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, this is why I don't have friends. And this is why I don't go on no girls trips or no group trip or whatever. Listen, be like me. Instead of going on a group trip, maybe let everybody fly in separately and stay in a separate hotel and just meet up. How about that? You just meet up. You don't have to be with the group if you don't want to. If there's a trip that I want to go, go to with a group of people, I'm going to fucking go. I'm going to go. Especially if, if after I, I vet them. Okay? If I'm if I'm not if I'm a little bit iffy about them, guess what? I'm just gonna get my own separate hotel room and everything like that. I'm not gonna be booking an Airbnb together with them or none of that shit. I'm not doing that. Okay. Yes, I I'll meet you there. I met Erin. Erin can tell you, I met Erin when I was in Mexico. She flew to Mexico. Okay, and I went to Cancun and I met up with her. We hung out for um, a few hours. We had fun. We had good food and everything like that. And that was it. No drama. Okay? You know, I went on, I went on one group trip. And I thought, <laughs> listen, I didn't know there was a problem on the group trip until after we came back from the trip. I was like, what? I, hell no. But yeah, you don't have to go. You don't have to go on a group trip. You don't have to stay in the same room with people. Because I'm grown. I'm, I'm funny. And I don't like sharing the bathroom with people. I, I, listen, I'm the person that squeezes a tube in the, in the middle, not, the, not, not from the end. I'm not going to be pissing off people. I don't want people pissing me off. I'm going to get my own room. Or I'm just gonna, um, I'm not gonna go on the same play, flight with you. I'm gonna come on a separate flight and meet you there. And don't ask me why I have to squeeze it too from the middle because I try, I start in the, in the, in the end and then I end up in the middle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> from the middle. Yeah, like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be pissing people off or anything like that. Like no. I don't want to hear your music and I want the lights off when I want it off. I'm not sharing no damn room. Yeah, if you know you're that type of person, don't go and stay in the same room and the same uh, um do not book an Airbnb, one Airbnb with everyone, because what if everybody wanna stay up and smoke weed and drink and you just wanna sleep? When is the next Zoom call? The next Zoom call is this Sunday for the book club. Okay, the Zoom call. Okay, on I'm gonna do a Zoom call. I'm gonna do do start doing a monthly Zoom call here in this group. Okay, so I'm gonna do a poll and we're gonna figure out a day which is the best day and the best time for everyone. Okay, just for this group only, just a monthly Zoom call, and we'll just pick random topics and and talk about it. Okay, the topics can be beginner, beginner topic or whatever. Um, advanced topics, I'm going to leave it to the secret group and the Patreon because some people in here are not ready for the advanced stuff because you'll be tripping, okay? Yeah, like, or, or, you know what? Good point, Hilda. Or go on a solo trip. 
and I, and I listen I've traveled solo to many places and I know going on solo trips can be very lonely and boring because boring because sometimes I wish I can go on a trip with someone like when I went to Mexico I was in Mexico for three months and I went alone uh, you know thankfully I had friends there that lived there so I, I met up with them so you know it wasn't completely lonely but it does get lonely but sometimes you know that girl was better off going on a solo trip is all I'm saying because ain't no fucking way I'm going on a trip with three different guys that first of all <laughs> that's this is a thing okay this is a thing with girls trip okay because if you if you were on TikTok you would see the you know the the trend that was going on wrong where people go girls go to Miami and then when they come back from Miami they're no longer friends let me tell tell you all something what's going on there okay when there's a group of girls together, especially when these girls are not, uh, haven't done the inner work, they're not confident in themselves, there's like a bunch of different personalities. They get together and they're like, oh, let's go to Miami, yeah. Okay, they go to Miami, okay? Doesn't have to be Miami, it could be any group trip. This is the two things that is going to cause problems on that trip. Pay attention. Number one, one of the girls is going to be more attractive and is going to be getting more, more, more of their attention and the other girls are going to have an issue with that. Okay? If you are okay, listen, I know this is hard to believe, but there are cases where I am the ugly friend, believe it or not, and, or the less attractive friend, or the older friend, and the guys are looking at the younger friend. I'm not everybody's type, Okay? And I'm okay with that. If I go out with a friend and a friend is getting all the attention, I'm going to sit back, enjoy my drink, eat my food, and I'm going to have fun regardless. I do not need male validation. Okay? I am used to getting male attention. But there are cases where it happens where I'm not, I'm not the one getting attention. Okay? I'm skinny, maybe I'm hanging out with a friend that is thick, and maybe the guys that are hanging out there are into thick girls. Guess what? They're gonna be they're gonna be trying to talk to my thick friend. If the guys and they're like skinny girls, they're gonna be talking to me. Like people don't un people don't understand. Like, anyways, anyways, you all know. One of the girls is gonna be getting the majority of the attention, and a lot of the girls are gonna be jealous and gonna be feeling some type of way about that. Okay? Male again, male centeredness. Secondly, money money is an issue okay because there's always going to be that one girl that didn't didn't work with enough money or you all can't do a certain activity because this one person didn't don't have any money or didn't have enough money or some kind of bullshit like that that shit will always happen okay you have to be prepared for something like that and you know be okay with it i don't care how 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 mature and every, uh, everybody is on a trip there's always going to be one person getting more attention and there's always going to be someone that that didn't have enough money it is what it is okay stay here broke ass home <laughs> okay and 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 then then sometimes you might have the person that uh, arranged the, the the trip and only chose expensive things because this person had more money than the you all know that party house that i'm talking to talking about on on um on instagram you know you know you all know what i'm talking about the party house i've heard some stories okay where she was she only booked the expensive restaurants and the expensive clubs and the expensive activities and didn't give a shit about the other girl's pocket knowing that well that she was the wealthiest okay that these are the type of shit that happens when you go on these damn girls trips okay and honestly, like if you're gonna go on a group on a girl trip and you have this information now, you all need to come together and discuss that so that when you get on that trip, you won't have any of those issues coming up. Because I swear to god, I'm gonna leave your asses behind. I'm not I'm not staying, I'm not staying, I'm not fighting with nobody. I'm taking my bags and I'm leaving. And you all know I'm not lying. You all know I'm not lying. And you all know what, what, what house I'm talking about. This is why I plan for the unexpected. And my friends are like me. Our trip went smooth earlier this year, except for when it came down to choosing where to eat. Again, no trip is going to be perfect, but you do not want to have a trip where there is drama at every turn. Bitches screaming and fighting and like, you don't, that, that is not a good situation to be in. Thankfully, I've never been in a situation like that. 
and I know some of you all in this chat been through that and listen I feel for you that must have been really fucking scary but girl not every trip is like that not everybody has terrible friends not everybody's terrible at choosing friends just choose your friends wisely okay vet your friends the same way you vet men because you all put so much energy like you know we live in a society where so much energy and attention is focused on romantic relationship like that we forget about the other relationships we forget about friendships we forget about the relationship we have with family again it's all about community the bad girls club yeah that that situation is so toxic it really is but anyways i feel like i've said enough my throat is getting very very dry and I'm getting very hungry. So, I'm going to end this live here. Yes, Tess. Pretty sure I vet friends way better than I vet men. Friends last longer. <laughs> Listen, I have friends that I went to school with. And we're still friends to this day. We just don't hang out and stuff like that. But, you know, we, you know, we get together. Like, I have this friend that I see once a year. Just once a year. Okay? But you know, friendships change. You know? Like, you know, you, you want to have like the friendship that, you know, even though you haven't seen each other in like three years or something like that, when you meet up, it's like you weren't even separated. You know? You just start talking and everything and just catching up and everything just feels good. You, you, you know, you don't feel like you were separated. That's a good friendship. But anyways, again, um, I hope that Chanel is it was her name? Sure. You someone type a name in the comments, y'all. That girl that died, the girl that died. I hope that her family gets the justice they deserve. Because a broken neck and a broken spine, that's definitely foul play. Some people need to go need to go to jail. Um, I heard the only rumors and the speculations and the conspiracies. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick to the facts because this is gonna go on YouTube. Shankila, yes, I hope that her family, Shankila Robinson, I hope her family gets the the justice that they deserve. They will never get her back. They, it, it, their life will never be the same again. But I listen. Some people need to go to jail. Period. Anyways, um, I'm gonna end the live here. Thank you, ladies, so much for listening, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.